Meteorologist Sarah Gannon joins us in the studio. Sarah, beautiful day today. <laughs> yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'm still giggling about the goat sound. I wasn't prepared for that, but <laughs> beautiful conditions all across the area today. We enjoyed some sunshine. Now we're seeing that cloud cover kind of roll in just a little bit, but uh, we should be seeing a few showers in the area. So quick little drink of water for those flowers. Uh, but uh, still maybe needing to head out to the garden and give them another drink of water here later on this evening. With tonight's Garden Gallery winner comes out of Plainview. Amy Fry is tonight's winner. Congratulations, Amy. And folks at home, it's easy to get involved to become a winner. Just take a picture of your garden, send it into garden at ktdc.com. Make sure to include your name and where the photo was taken. As we head into the next several days, we are going to be looking at the chance for a few showers to kind of roll through the area tonight and into uh, Sunday as well. But especially as we head in towards into tomorrow, we're going to be seeing a cooler start to the month of August, and that will start tomorrow and continue into a good chunk of next week. But the good news is for folks that are still waiting for that, wanting more of that summertime heat, it's not over just yet. We'll, we will be getting more of those seasonal temperatures to return back to the region as we head into next weekend. So we're going to have to wait just a little bit for that. Right now, live look at your Lewis Donato camera from Assisi Heights looking towards the west cloud cover kind of encompassing a good chunk of the area now as we start to see a cold front kind of push towards our area here. Overall, things are pretty comfortable right now, but as we check in with our future track radar, we are staying dry at the moment across a good chunk of the KTDC viewing area, but starting to enter into kind of the southern portion of Goodhue County into uh, northern Ormsted County and in towards Dodge County, seeing kind of some shower development across the area with that cold front. So we'll continue to see this push through the area here as the evening progresses. So not everyone will get a good soaking, but uh, we'll still see that chance for some of those showers to kind of roll through the area here as the evening continues. Temperatures right now sitting mainly into the low and mid 70s, a little cooler here in Rochester and Dodge Center, elsewhere into the mid 70s, upper 70s, even in, and even a few lower 80s as well. Winona at 82, 79 in Decorah, 77 in Charles City, Mason City at 81 degrees, and 77 in Austin, uh, finishing up with Albert Lee at 75 degrees. Dew points right now very comfortable into the upper 50s and low 60s. As we kind of time out this precipitation chance here for the rest of this evening, we'll see those showers kind of pull through the area here throughout the evening time. Again, as I mentioned, not everyone looks Looking to be seeing these showers going to stay pretty sparse in manner, but uh, looking to see those shower chances continuing throughout the overnight hours. Heading into your early Sunday, we might see just a slight break in those shower activity, but as we head in towards the afternoon again, seeing additional showers possible across the area. Overall temperatures not looking to get above uh, the low 70s, so it will be a little cooler for tomorrow and into much of the week ahead. So in terms of additional shower chances aside from tonight and those few additional showers for your Sunday, we're looking to stay dry throughout a good chunk of next week. Maybe a few isolated storm chances possible as we head towards Thursday, Friday and next Saturday. But in terms of temperatures, staying pretty chilly as we head towards uh, the early portion of this week. So our average highs right now should be about 80 degrees. So tomorrow looking to be about 10 degrees below average and much of the week kind of ranging from about that 10 to 5 or 5 to 10 degrees uh, below average, but becoming more seasonal as we head towards your Friday into Saturday uh, heading into next weekend. So as I mentioned, a little cooler to kind of kick things off, feeling a little bit more like September, and then we'll warm back up for next week. Tonight, temperatures will be back into the low 60s. We we'll see cl that cloud cover continue to increase here across the area with those few showers uh, during the evening and overnight hours. Tomorrow, a few additional showers are possible. Looking at more clouds and sunshine, temperatures really looking to stick into the lows into the upper 60s to lower 70s across southern Minnesota and into northeastern Iowa. Your extended forecast showing those cooler temperatures continuing into the start of next week, gradually warming up as we head towards Thursday, Friday and beyond. All right, looks like some beautiful weather ahead. Thank yeah. you, Sarah. Well, hey, up next in sports,